What's up guys? Good morning from Cairo, Egypt. Your host is Haysam Ali and I am an aviation technical instructor. It's early morning here in Cairo, Egypt. And I'm very excited about today's topic. As for today, I'm going to talk about the three basic steps regarding thrust reversers deactivation for a safe flight. You know that it do happen twice before, where an aircraft suffer from a thrust reversers deployment in flight. Tragically, in one case, the aircraft was crashed. And fortunately, in the other one, the crew made a safe precautionary landing back to the airport. So, thrust reversers are a very sophisticated system. They are in place for a safe landing and they aid in decreasing the landing distance. But for some times, if they are suffering from a hydraulic leak, for example, or the system are dysfunction, the maintenance crew may elect to deactivate the thrust reverser for a safe flight. So they need to assure about three basic steps. These three basic steps are clearly identified in their aircraft maintenance manual. So what are they? The first step you need to assure about thrust reversers hydraulically deactivated. The second step you need to assure about mechanical locking of the thrust reversers. And the final step you need to test the safety features available in the reverser system from the engine manufacturers that after a proper thrust reversers deactivation they are due work just in case for safety so let's clearly identify these three basic steps for the first one you need to isolate the reversers from their operating hydraulic system because for this flight you are not in need for a hydraulic to operate the thrust reversers so, for example, most turbofan engines are fitted to about what it called a hydraulic control unit, which is the interface between the hydraulic system and the reversers actuators. So you need to deactivate this hydraulic control unit in order to prevent the hydraulic fluid to reach to the thrust reversers actuators. This is the first step. What about the second one? Just in case if the hydraulic system power the thrust reversers, you need to assure that the translating sleeves or pivoting doors are stuck with the C-duct or mechanically locked with the C-duct. So even if the hydraulic are try to power the reversers, they are mechanically locked and they will not operate. So, and this is the main step and the difference between thrust reversers, deactivation for maintenance and for flight. So for flight, you need to assure about the mechanical looking of the reversers. So what about the third step? You need to assure about the safety features, proper operation, just in case if the hydraulic reversers are operated in flight, the safety features will work and will be for the safety of this flight. So what about these safety features? For the thrust reverser systems, regulators are strictly about at least three safety features for thrust reverser operation on ground only and if it is operated in flight, another three safety features for safety in flight. So, if you need to deactivate the reversers for flight, you need to assure that the three safety features are there for the safety of the flight. So, for example, most of the engine manufacturers are putting like what it called three autos. If the reversers are try to operate it in flight, and it is already operated like more than 10% or 5%, these three autos will 
operate and be there for the safety of the flight. Like the engine will go to auto idle automatically. The auto thrust will disconnect and the thrust reversers will auto restore. And these three autos are the basic that do happen before in the second case I told you about when the crew made a safe precautionary landing back to the airport the aircraft was not crashed due to the proper operation of these three safety features so finally again the three basic steps for proper thrust reversers deactivation for flight are hydraulically deactivated mechanically logged and proper operation of the safety features finally again this training session are for training purposes only they shall not supersede any official documents so please aircraft maintenance personnel please always advise your official documents before working on the aircraft especially on an important task like thrust reversers deactivation for flight Thank you for your good listening and hope always it will be for your benefit. See you again.